Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm doing another doll clothing tutorial and I'm really excited for the particular outfit we're making today. I was looking on Pinterest recently and I came across this photo and I really like that overall dress kind of outfit. So that's what we're gonna attempt to make today and also a little sweater to wear underneath it. So let's just get right into the video. First, I'm gonna start off by showing you how to make the mini sweater for this outfit. So to start before we actually make the sweater, I'm going to draw out a very simple pattern. So I just start to sketch out a kind of long sleeved shirt shape. And I'll just quickly have the measurements for this appear on screen so you can recreate it yourself. I basically start from this point down here and make a curve in the armpit area on both sides. And then I cut that out. To make our pattern for the sweater. For my fabric, I'm using this nice stretchy light pink material. So with the good side of the fabric facing up, I fold a piece in half. And then I take our pattern and place it so the top of the pattern is at the fold we just made. I draw around it. And then cut it out. I unfold that. And now I cut strips out of that same fabric that are about an inch wide. And basically I take a strip and fold it in half so the good side is on the outside. And I line up the raw edges with the raw edge of the end of a sleeve. And then I'm basically just going to sew across the top. And I also pull this little piece of fabric as I go to kind of give it a gather. And then I repeat that with the other sleeve. And so basically when you flip that over, it creates a nice cuff. And I repeat that step on these two edges as well. And now with the right side facing up, I fold everything in half. And I'm basically just gonna sew down the curves for each sleeve. And then I cut off any excess fabric, being careful not to cut the stitches we just made. And then I flip it inside out. I fold this in half and match up the sleeves and body. And then basically at this point, I'm just making a very small cut to make the neck hole. And then on whichever side you want to be the back, I make a small cut going down towards the bottom of the top. And I cut another thin strip of fabric. This one is about three quarters of an inch wide. And just like how we made the cuffs, I fold it in half with the good side on the outside. And basically I'm lining up this raw edge with the raw edge of the neckline. And I'm going to sew at the top. You could try to attempt this with a sewing machine, but personally I'm going to hand sew it just because it's a little bit easier for me. to make a nice neckline. Then I place the sweater on a doll feet first. Then I sew on snap fasteners so that it can open and close. You could use Velcro as well, but I just really like these little snap fasteners. So now it can open and close. And I made an identical one in a brown color because these are just so easy to make and I think they're so cute as well. And now I'm gonna show you how to make the overall dress to go with the sweater. 
So I start off by taking some denim fabric. I would have preferred if I had actual black denim. This is a really dark blue, but I feel like black would have looked best for this. But of course you could use any color you want. And basically I'm just gonna flip that around. And I start by marking a piece that is three inches by three inches and cutting that out. I basically take this piece and fold it in half and then I cut out a curve on the side. So when I open it up, this piece here should be about an inch and a half long. And the curve is about an inch deep. And then basically using some fabric glue, I fold over the edges of that curve and glue them down. Of course you could sew this, but because it's such a small little hem, I'm just gonna glue it because I'd probably mess up. I cut two rectangles of that same fabric and then I glue them behind the curves to make working pockets. I cut two pieces that are three by two inches. I take one of those pieces and place them good side to good side with our other bigger piece across one of the side edges. And then I'm going to sew from the top to the bottom. But when I sew it, I'm actually gonna sew it at a bit of an angle so that it is tighter at the waist. And then I repeat that with the other piece we cut out on the other side of the skirt. I then cut a piece of fabric that is one and three quarter inches by two inches. I'm going to fold over and hem the top and sides of this piece. Then once I have that all hemmed, I take the raw edge of this little piece and line up good side to good side with the top raw edge of the skirt piece. It's important to make sure this is nice and centered in the skirt. And then I'm just going to sew across right there at the top. I flip that piece up and fold over the edge with it, and then I'm going to sew that down. So now everything lays down nicely. I'm personally not going to hem the bottom edge just because I wanted to have that rough edge look. Then I take this piece and place it on the doll. And in the back, I mark where I'm going to sew it together. And because I want the bottom to be loose, I'm going to sew the bottom at the very edge but then I bring it in when it gets closer to her waist. I'm not drawing it all the way up because I do want to leave some space to put a little fastener. And then basically matching up the edges and I'm going to sew on the line that I marked. So I sewed that together and also hemmed over these little extra pieces that are sticking out just so they have a nice clean edge. And then I'm gonna flip that inside out and place it on the doll. So now in the back, to make it so it can actually open and close, you can either use some Velcro, or I'm personally using these little snap fasteners. So now the overall dress can open and close. Then I just have this little piece of fabric that is about an inch by three quarters of an inch. Personally, because I don't want the sides to get really bulky, I'm just gonna be using some fabric glue and put some on all of the raw edges. And then use my finger to just kind of spread that out. And this is basically to just make sure that the edges don't fray. And then I'm gonna take this little piece and I'm going to sew it on the front bib here. I'm just gonna sew all the sides except for the top so that it'll still open. To make a real working pocket on the front. Then I cut long strips of fabric that are half an inch wide. And basically, I'm just going to fold over and sew down the sides to make straps for the overall dress. I'm just going to sew them to the back of the skirt part. I'm just gonna use a needle and thread and sew them right on. You could mark out the spots and sew it on with the sewing machine instead, but <laughs> I'm just doing it this way. Okay. 
Then once I've attached those, I cross the two straps and pull them over the doll's shoulders. And then I basically cut them at the right length. I'm just gonna put a little bit of fabric glue on the ends to prevent it from fraying. Then I'm gonna use hook and eyes, and I'm basically going to sew the eyes onto the bib. And then I sew the hooks to the end of the straps so that the straps can hook on to the bib. And this is what the clothing pieces look like together. I also did give her some fishnets because I thought it looked really cute with the outfit. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I just think it's so cute and pretty simple to make. I also love the fact that the overall dress does have working pockets and I think this is a perfect outfit for fall. Make sure to comment down below what you think of this DIY and please let me know if you're gonna give it a try and how it turns out because I would love to know. Now before we do end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Crafty Life, Alexandra Ivy, and Anya Sheffreen. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this DIY and let me know if you want to see more doll clothing DIYs in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. for this all my life.